YouTube. Um, <clears throat> hi. So I am 14 weeks and four days today, and I just met with my midwife for the um, first time as like officially. We met once as just a meeting and seeing if um, her practices were something that I was wanting and if uh, we if the prices were something that we could afford. So um, we just had our first meeting that was like official and um, and it was so fun and I feel just so good about it. I feel really good. She is just a really nice woman. We share like so much of the same ideas and um, she seems like someone I could, I would be friends with um, just if I just met her somewhere or something. <laughs> so that feels really good. And I got, I want to show, I got this big old binder and this whole thing is just like packed with, um, with just information, just like so much information in this thing. It's like the best research and it, it feels like a big book, but it's actually a, a pregnancy book about um, things that are related to what I care about and uh, spiritually wise and uh, just like medical uh, choices and um, so many different on so many different levels. It is so much more real and relatable for me than any other any other pregnancy book ever so I'm so grateful for this and I'm so excited to get started there's just all this information about like herbs about um, you know like including the, the kids in the birth and there's information for your to give to your relatives about like creating a healthy um, just really peaceful birthing surrounding and I just like can't believe um, I can't believe it, you know? I'm still in shock, and I can't believe that I get to birth in my own house, and that's gonna feel so different, you know? Like, I birthed Ocean in a hospital, and I mean, that was awesome. I freaking had a great experience, but a part of me can't help but only imagine um, the birth being like that, that the birth, after having the baby, I would be in the hospital, and now it's becoming more real and more of an option to realize like oh I get to like wake up in my bed I don't have to like it's it was nice being in the hospital but honestly it was like it sucked getting out of there like it took all day just to get out of there and it felt like it feels like an institution like even on some level you're taken care of and you're having like a positive experience like it shouldn't be that hard to get out of somewhere and I've definitely have heard of a similar you know just that's just standard for hospitals, so uh, I'm just so grateful, yeah, that I get to just be in my house, and, um, you know, of course, if everything, that's the plan, of course, there's always things that, you know, can go wrong, but right now, this is um, where we're at, and I will be so grateful just to have this as an option, so, um, yeah, and I also got this awesome birthing bag, which maybe I could just glance your way and it just it's um for the actual birth but it's just like makes it so much more real I don't know there's just like you know pads and stuff to lay on and like a kneeling pad and all this like um like medical kind of stuff like you know gauze and you know the <clears throat> ointments and stuff so I don't know it just feels really real and it feels really awesome I'm really excited about all that so um <clears throat> just briefly I guess I actually went a whole week, all week last week, I didn't puke at all, like I no puke in the morning or anything, and then this week, the last two days I have, so I guess my midwife is going to recommend some homeopaths to me, and I'm excited about that, and also um, she suggested a few things, so I hope that we can just knock out this nausea, because that week that I didn't have it, I felt amazing, and I'm in my second trimester now. I should be feeling good. I don't want to be sick all, my whole pregnancy. Like, I know that's an option, and I know that happens, and I just hope that doesn't happen to me. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. Um, but other than that, I feel really good. I, obviously, I have a lot of energy, and, um, and yeah, I'm not feeling, like, you know, very emotional 
definitely emotional just for hunger and when I need to eat I need to eat now it is like no waiting so I need to const I always have snacks and protein snacks are awesome and um, yeah that's pretty much where I'm at other than that it's been really good of course I've, I'm only 14 weeks so I haven't felt any feelings or anything of movement but I'm hoping that's coming in the next couple weeks and um, and yeah, we have lots of fun stuff happening. So thanks so much for tuning in. And I look forward to just updating everything because there's so much exciting stuff. So <laughs> I'll see you next week.